Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to record bank deposits in QuickBooks Online. You can view all of our QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's start at our QuickBooks Online dashboard. If you don't already have QuickBooks Online, you can subscribe for 50% off by clicking the link below this video. Before we can deposit a check into your checking account, we need to record the receipt of that check. So to do so, let's go to our new button and then under customers record receive payment. You re use this receive payment feature if you've already issued an invoice to the customer and now they're making a payment on that invoice. So let's choose our customer Aaron. We can see that Aaron has an outstanding invoice for $132. So let's assume that he has now paid that invoice. So he's paid us with a check and we're placing the check into our undeposited funds account. We're not going to deposit it directly to the checking account. We have that option here but that's not the best way to do it. Let's deposit it to our undeposited funds account. Okay so we have $132 going to our undeposited funds and click save and close. Okay, let's receive a second check. This time, let's assume a customer comes into our store, put, purchases a good or service, and immediately pays for it. In this case, there's no time to issue an invoice and then receive a check in two separate steps, so we're going to issue a sales receipt. This takes the place of both an invoice and receiving a payment on an invoice. So click sales receipt under customers, and let's say Adam came into our store um, he's going to pay with a check and again we're depositing it to undeposited funds we'll say today was the service date uh, he purchased I don't know, ugly pink bathroom sink for a hundred dollars okay so this re then records both the revenue and receiving the check so click save and close Good. Now we've received two checks, so let's learn how to actually deposit those into the bank. Under New, let's go to the other column and Bank Deposit. This pulls up all of the checks we've placed in our undeposited funds, funds account. We're going to re record the deposit of both of these checks, and so let's click on both checks. Now the reason we use undeposited funds is because this is going to combine these two amounts and show it in our check register as a single deposit which is important because that's how it's going to show up on our bank account and every month we need to reconcile our QuickBooks checking register to our bank statement and if the check register shows two separate amounts and the bank statement shows one amount it's going to be very hard to reconcile especially if you have a lot of checks of the same amount from different customers it'll be very hard to figure out which checks were deposited and which checks were not and so we always want to use the undeposited funds account now there is another section here in our bank deposit form to add funds to this deposit so this is not appropriate for money we've received from customers for either outstanding invoices or for any goods and services we provide immediately those checks should always go through the invoice process or the receipt process as we did at the beginning of this video don't record those directly in this bank deposit form uh, the only time you would want to use this is if it's a check that's not income so perhaps the owner gave you a check um, as an investment in the company or perhaps you got a tax refund those types of checks you can record directly in the bank deposit however checks from customers should always go through the invoice or the sales receipt forms uh, like we illustrated before so I'm not adding any other funds to this deposit um, if we have cash back you can record it here generally that would go to your petty cash account um, this is where you record that so that's it. That's all we need to do to record our bank deposit. Let's hit save and close. And there we go. Our bank deposit of $232 was made. We've now deposited our checks by grouping them first in undeposited funds and then making the deposit. Well, great. I appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day.
Thank you and visit all of our QuickBooks Online tutorials by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials.